Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. In this video, I will be talking about the iOS 10.3 as well as the iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak status. And I will give you guys a little update on the jailbreak status of these two of the latest versions of iOS. And we have something really interesting regarding the iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak. So first of all, let's talk about the new iOS 10.3, which has just been released by Apple. So there is nothing new. We don't really know anything about a jailbreak being created for iOS 10.3. We don't have any news or anything. So right now it's very quiet. We don't have any update or any rumor regarding any reports about a jailbreak being created for iOS 10.3, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing going on. You know, we have the Pangu team as well as the Taiji team, which have been quiet for quite a long time now, but you never know when they will release a jailbreak. So as long as these two teams, these two teams, especially the Pangu team are still active, we can expect a jailbreak to be released at any time. You never know when they will release a jailbreak because they never talk about it it's always a surprise release so we can't say that there will be no jailbreak for ios 10.3 just at the moment there is nothing new there are no news about a jailbreak being created for ios 10.3 and my take on the ios 10.3 jailbreak is that it will come alongside with the jailbreak for ios 10.4 which probably will be in beta very soon and i'm expecting a jailbreak for these two ios versions to be released at the beginning of this summer just like the last summer when we saw the jailbreak for ios 9.3.3 and now let's talk about the ios 10.2.1 which i believe will be the next firmware that will get a jailbreak probably very very soon so here's a, a very interesting thing on twitter yesterday luke tedesco the creator of the yalu 10.2 jailbreak said this he said save blobs if you're currently on iOS 10.2.1, stay there if you want a jailbreak and also I'm done with jailbreaking. So he has said this, this even before he's done with jailbreaking and you cannot expect a jailbreak from him to be released for iOS 10.2.1. So YALU 10.2 will be the last jailbreak that he will release to the public and he will not work on any more public jailbreaks. So here's where it gets interesting. This guy right here. Min Zheng, he is the senior security engineer for Alibaba. Alibaba is a Chinese company that owns 25PP and 25PP is the company that works with the Pangu team on their jailbreaks. So this guy knows stuff and here's what he replied to Luca Tedesco. He said that based on your open source project, someone needs just a fixed kernel bug to jailbreak iOS 10.2.1. So someone just needs a fixed kernel bug to jailbreak iOS 10.2.1, which means that it is very possible that someone will be able to create a jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 based on the project of Luca Tedesco. So that is very, very nice. And hopefully someone will do that, will work on, the, on that project and we will see a jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 very very soon so i don't know if it will support the iphone 7 probably not the iphone 7 has like different security hardware and stuff like that so it's very hard to jailbreak but probably at some point it will be also jailbroken and hopefully when we get a jailbreak from the pangu team hopefully it will also support the iphone 7 and the 7 plus which i strongly believe that we will see by the beginning of this summer we will see a jailbreak for ios 10.3 and probably 10.4 by the pangu team so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments right down below what do you think about the future of the jailbreak so that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video as it helps out a lot and also go ahead and follow me on my social media you will find the links in the description of the video